All right. We've got a single solitary lesion. Clinically, they thought probably that it was a sev or a wart. And microscopically, we see a horn over top of it. I guess we could add this on as a fifth thing that could make a, a horn on our list of cutaneous horn. But what is this pattern called right here? Whoever would have been assigned to this case. I'm sorry I'm taking your glory from you. The epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. Yeah, epidermolytic hyperkeratosis, EHK. And it looks like the epidermis is falling apart or lysing. It's just an artifact. It's not real. It's because the keratin filaments are tangled up instead of filling the cytoplasm. So the cytoplasm is empty and washes out and is clear after processing. And you get globules of pink, which are misfolded keratin filaments. And you also get globules of purple, which are big, chunky um, uh, keratohyaline granules. So both pink and purple blobs with pale clear epidermis and this this is like a really nice characteristic one but i find it can have a variety of different textures and and uh mixtures of those findings i just mentioned often with overlying hyperkeratosis with both ortho and para kind of scattered in there so some people are born with this as a as a form of ichthyosis um right uh which is because of germline mutations in keratin one or ten and then also we see this as incidental foci or occasionally we see this where it's clinically noticeable as a solitary lesion and in that case, I like to call these uh, EHK omas, or the more proper name is an epidermolytic acanthoma or epidermolytic hyperkeratotic acanthoma. So if it was clinically thought to be a single lesion and biopsied, and what I see is all this, then we call it epidermolytic uh, uh, acanthoma or epidermolytic hyperkeratotic acanthoma. So it's a nice pattern to recognize. And it, when it shows up as incidental findings, I find that sometimes pathologists who are not familiar with this uh, get concerned about like, what is this weird finding? Is it weird HPV? I've seen it confuse people. Um, there are forms of it where you can have multiple little foci of it in the anogenital area. And I've seen people be concerned for HPV or other things. And once you know this pattern exists, it's easy to recognize. And again, sometimes if you're having a bad day, you might think it looks a little like a Mermesia wart. But I think if you compare this to the Mermesia we saw, clearly very different um, once you've seen both side to side.